Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. Thank you for the opportunity this evening to allow us to take up some of Council's time to recognize some of the folks within our organization who have done an exemplary job in the life-saving field. It's not that often in a career of a firefighter and a paramedic that they actually are able to see that the fruits of their labor and their training actually come to fruition on the fire ground to save a life. I'd like to start this evening with the first life-saving award for three paramedics, and I'd like to call them up to begin with, so um, I make sure that they're in the room. Captain Brian Hall, paramedic Nick Gearing, and EMT Dustin Free. I'd like to ask my Deputy Chief of EMS to step forward and do the pinning for us. Uh, Deputy Chief Mike Brooks. The Loveland Sims Fire Department received a call one morning from a resident of the city of Loveland having chest pains. Crews arrived quickly on the scene and assessed the patient. After evaluating the patient's signs and symptoms, the 12, K, the 12 lead EKG, they determined that the patient needed immediate paramedic intervention and transport to the hospital. The patient was showing signs of having a STEMI, an elevated myocardial infarction. Once arriving at the hospital, the patient received life-saving treatment in the cardiac catheterization lab. The patient could obtain this life-saving treatment so rapidly because the hospital was able to use the LSFD's first 12-lead EKG and the hospital's 12-lead EKG to compare the patient was indeed having a heart attack. The quick action of the EMS crew helped to save the patient's life as well as significantly reduce the amount of damage to the heart and lessening the patient's in-hospital stay. The LSFD sends customer service questionnaires to everyone transported as a way to improve our patient care. The patient stated on their customer service questionnaire the following quote, you saved my life. I had a heart attack with two stents, minimum damage to my heart, and I was saved because of you. Thank you. We would like to present these life-saving awards tonight to Captain Brian Hall, Firefighter Paramedic Nick Gearing, and Firefighter EMT Dustin Freeze. to ask, um, only because he was the one with the foundation for this, I'd like to ask was Deputy Chief Andrew Knapp, who was head of our 911 Dispatch Center, who is now head of the Hamilton County Communications Center, some gentlemen we're very proud of came from our ranks, we'd like to have him step up and help with the pinning on this. On the morning of, on the morning of April 30th, 2017, Northeast Communications Center received a 911 transfer from the Hamilton County Communications Center of a structure fire located at the MacArthur Park Apartments. The caller stated that the smoke was intense and the fire was burning her. At that point, two of the occupants had already jumped <clears throat> from the third story window. Hamilton County Dispatcher Alicia Jim and Northeast Dispatcher Aaron Berg worked in tandem to call, calm the caller, give vital instructions, all while dispatching both our units and other units from our mutual aid partners. Dispatcher Berg was also answering other phone calls and managing other units from the earlier cardiac arrests in Sims Township. The professional demeanor of these 911 professionals aided in saving the life of the young woman. Often we forget about the importance our 911 operators play in the fire, police, and EMS emergencies. They are often the unsung heroes on the other end of the phone in most communities. I would like to congratulate Dispatcher Alicia Jim and Dispatcher Aaron Berg on receiving the Fire Department Medal of Merit. Deputy Chief of Fire Operations, Josh Bloom, if he could come up for this next penny. 
And if I could get Firefighter Webb and Firefighter Cooper to step forward as well. Reference to the 911 call that I just spoke of. In the early morning hours of April 30th, the Loveland Sims Fire Department was answering several critical simultaneous calls for service when every fire service administrator's worst nightmare occurs. Engine 63 from the 2nd Street Fire Station, occupied by several mutual aid partners, responded to a reported fire within a multiple dwelling and reports of people trapped. Staff with just two personnel due to the previous details, Engine Company 63 arrived within minutes to the occupied multifamily dwelling with a working fire and occupants at the window with additional persons who had already jumped from a third story window and were seriously injured. Without hesitation, firefighters John Cooper and firefighter Brian Webb, with hundreds of hours of personal training, kicked in and they immediately went into the rescue mode, throwing a portable ladder to a third story window, calming then assisting the third family member to safety under high heat conditions and heavy smoke. Firefighter Cooper began to treat the injured victims who had jumped from the fire, from, jumped while Firefighter Webb began to establish a water supply for the inevitable fire attack that would be mounted from Engine 63 with the assistance of our mutual aid partners. Their actions demonstrated everything that the American Fire Service has to offer our communities and upholds the mission statement of the Loveland Sims Fire Department as they certainly acted as highly trained professionals. I am honored to acknowledge their actions with a life-saving award. Yeah, we are.